We're going to go ahead and do a collective reading specifically for Twin Flames for the Twin Flame Collective to see what is going on for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. So the energies are kind of feeling a little slow, doesn't surprise me. But even though we're getting ready for the 3-3 three, three, hole, which is huge, it's also a huge Ascension Twin Flame Gateway as well too. And I think the reason why is because our bodies are trying to prepare for the spring equinox, which is coming. On the 15th, we kick off 10 back-to-back -back galactic activation four-hole days. And so this is going to be really, really intense, adding it to the equinox energies as well, too. We're also going to go into an eclipse season as well, too. So we have a lot of powerful alignments that are coming at us, and you're probably preparing for it on a physical level. So you might be kind of feeling the energies right now are moving a little bit slow, but they're actually powerful for manifestation and healing the downloads, the awareness that it's bringing you to. So pay attention to the spiritual connection. The spiritual is always the above. We're always connected to it. We're always bringing through information, insights, tapping into it as well too. The more you raise your frequency, the more that you're gonna be within the spiritual as well too. Let's go ahead and do a reading though specifically for Twin Flames. So, I think the things that are coming up right now is there's a lot of purging that's happening for those that are in separation. It can be very, very painful to experience this. This is oftentimes where you need to sit and feel what's coming up. And it's just about clearing the energy and having to allow that energy to move through you that is being triggered from this experience as you know, there's different things that are going to play out in your dynamic. Everyone's different, but it tends to trigger the same kind of issues within these connections. I think a lot of people think this is going to be like a soulmate connection, and it's definitely not. This is more about ascension. Now, you are meant to be with this person, but sometimes things can go off or go wrong as well, too. I do feel that sometimes these separations are something way bigger than ourselves or each twin as well to each flame. There's something kind of playing out past us as well too on a universal level. This is where the surrendering to your path is coming in as well too. If you're in a separation, taking this space to heal and to really work on yourself, no matter what's going on in your situation, even if you are in separation, you're not separate. Your flame is going through the same thing on the other end of it, but different. This is where you're supposed to work on yourself, getting your life in order, kind of working on, you know, bringing your, I say bringing yourself back from the dead theme because we're going into the spring as well too. There's been a lot of intense emotions being felt because it's Pisces season and coming up around the connection specifically with both. Even if you're separate, they're always emotionally connected to you and feeling what you're feeling too. But let's go ahead and start and do a reading specifically for the Divine Feminine. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. And this is where it can be confusing too, because if you're left in separation, it's like, it's, it's a lot like a dream, but you know, it happened. And I was asking higher questions last night of why do we go, why do we go through this experience at all? Why do you have to meet this person then, right? If you're not going to end up together, if you're going to go through these stages of separation. And the answer was the healing work being done, that this is very important that we came here to heal the collective during this time. So if you are a twin flame, it's all about the healing that you agreed to come do here on the planet during this time. And oftentimes you're left having to pick up the pieces and heal yourself, whether you're feeling back at square one, you're feeling a lot of pain, trauma, you know, the separation pains, whatever it is, you're having to really work on your healing even more so living on earth during this time. I was kind of making a joke to another twin flame last night saying, yes, this is earth and we're constantly having to heal ourselves just from living on the planet during this time. But it's a lot to do with the collective and the collective fields as well too, especially if you're in separation, the frequencies are not high enough. There might be karmic challenges, obstacles, blocks. It might be the universe. It might not be divine timing. There are many factors as well too, which can get frustrating and can trigger a lot. Now, twin flame is the yin and yang of it. They always hold the opposites. I was writing a ton on this topic um, in my new book I'm working on last night. And it's like you can pinpoint where you're exact opposite in something. So you might be like anxious attacher and they're the avoider and they're triggering you in completely different ways. You might hold very different patterns and programs and it literally is the yin and the yang to it where maybe you're really good in one area and they're not. 
and it is like that as well too with the divine feminine with the divine balance masculine and finding balance and healing for these aspects as well too so very polar opposites in how you're wired up and how you're responding i wish i could take back the hurtful things i said it was wrong to take my frustration out on you there were things said there were things that were brought out and this is why it's so painful as well too um, this is not your true twain, twin flame if you haven't had disagreements or told them to F off at a certain point and you'll say, what? Yeah, and this is, can contribute to the runner chaser dynamic. So if there's a runner, this is from their flight response and it's just because the energies get so overwhelming. I know usually it's things said after, right? They've already gone into that and it's just from their own mechanisms as well too because usually, not all the time, the dynamics definitely flip all of the time. But usually it is the runner is the avoidant and it's just fear on their part. Their fear of getting hurt. So they hurt you first. And this is kind of being triggered as well, too. And then it's like the things that are said. And then it's like the runner has to go because they're not maybe treating you right. They're not ready to step up. They aren't doing as they should with you. And as the chaser, if you're able to give yourself and usually it's divine feminine, that love and to really, really respect yourself and give yourself that love and energy and attention, you probably won't want them back. You may have got the lesson. It just kind of depends, right? Because the runner, they might be at a different place. They might need another 10 years of spiritual growth to get where they should be. It just kind of depends as well too with where they're at and the dynamic as well too. So on some level, they haven't been treating you well, or they haven't been stepping up, or maybe even not doing the spiritual work. And that's what it comes down to as well too. So you have to respect that this person needs that separation, the runner even more than the chaser as well too. But this can be very painful as it triggers different things within both as well too kind of funny that the runner is trying to avoid rejection because they don't feel good enough but they probably are rejecting the chaser on some type of level this is where you go into these states of separation that are occurring for a lot across the collective that might even be hard to understand and then we have well what happens if my twin flame is with someone else or goes to be with someone else or they're not going to be with me again well i think there is a point where both will realize that you can't even be with someone else and so yes that can happen we see that because i work with so many twin flames and yes that could happen but usually what happens is when they try to go back to their old life or to move on or to find someone else and usually the chaser will because they might have those avoided tendencies and they're not trying to do their work they'll go try to find someone else to band-aid that pain or to fix it they're more likely to go hang out and things like that with other people but they will find that there is something missing no one can ever compare and this is where this can get kind of tricky as well too because it's like you know at this point upon meeting that you can't even be with anyone else <laughs> like because once twin flames have met you guys have locked into each other's orbit and you probably don't realize that but when you have met in that bubble and you've come together and interlocked energetically something has begun to happen and this is like the gravitational pull of it and things like that so if you're in this chaser runner dynamic chaser usually is divine feminine you're in your masculine energy too much so we also have um chaser they're gonna look like they don't want you and they're running away but the reason why the chaser is chasing is because they're pulling your energy they i know they've been pulling on your energy and this is the thing of it too you're pushing them away and causing the chasing with your energy as well too because this is like powerful magnets as well too so when you're chasing you're pushing them farther away when they're running they're pulling you and pulling your energy as well too the separation spaces are needed to work on your energy and to work on the underlying emotions trauma and how you've been wired up from childhood the worst childhood that you have the more attachment difficulties and relationship difficulties you've probably had and this will trigger that going through the twin flame separation dynamic or you know even things coming up from it as well too just be mindful of that because it does trigger a lot of underlying inner child and past trauma wounds or just how you're wired up when times get tough, I gave up too soon. This is divine feminine throwing in the towel. I was talking about how once your hope and faith is gone, it's the last of it because this is what can happen 
as well too these feelings and these emotions of it like and it's very important that you're staying in that energy of faith trust hope and surrender to the universe and trusting that you didn't come this far to only come this far as well too with this journey and even with this person as well too this self the separations are very self-reflection you're going to get a lot of epiphanies downloads insights what to do what to be working on too needing to pull back your energy from everyone right now and to work on yourself especially in union this is going to lead to a happy healthier union where you're still working on yourself so usually separation happens when you're putting too much focus on the other person if your job is being affected finances other areas of your life and you're not maintaining your independent social circles family things like this the separations will happen as well too you get too wrapped up in each other which is really easy to do with twin flame it feels really really good and addictive that let's call it the bubble right and the love bubble of it too so being guided to really work on yourself no matter what your situation because this is a general read I always say do the individual readings on my website. I do 30 minute phone call and we'll go into your specific situation. This will give you confirmation about your situation, what to be healing, what to be working on because it brings up so much for each person because all of your stuff is individual to you. So while it triggers the same stuff, it's gonna bring up a lot. Um, healing wise too. Make sure you're doing more healings on my website. I am an energy healer. I'm always trying to get you to do that. You should be anyways to take care of yourself with your ascension, but with twin flame, they're going to get you to do the work. Most people haven't been doing a high level of spiritual work when they meet their twin flame. And it's going to trigger you to go do that work that you haven't been doing too. So make sure you're doing tons of energy healing sessions, activation sessions on my website. I also teach classes like Reiki and Saken. And I do twin flame coaching, which helps you no matter what. I'm going to take you through certain areas that are very key to healing your twin flame union that I've kind of set up. And I do coaching calls, right? So make sure you're doing the twin flame coaching, especially if you're in a separation because you've run into a lot of beliefs and patterns that are blocking this connection on your end in some type of way. So I'll help you kind of work through into union. If you need me to book me on my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com, continuing with messages from the divine feminine to masculine. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. I see a lot of feminines having dreams. If in separation, they might not be great, but they're going to give you a lot of insight as to what's going on with your situation, especially if there's not a lot of communication, no contact or a separation happening. You might even dream of them more. And because this is like your soul trying to get your attention and you're connecting on a higher level, you're connecting on that higher spiritual realm. It's why when you daydream all day or you're focusing on them and trying not to, or you're focusing on the astral and you're actually meeting up with this person as well too. And they're gonna be having the same encounters. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. And this is about coming out of the head and not analyzing things, doing that higher level of work and opening up your heart to the divine, to the connection and to union. So in some type of way, you might feel off your path, needing more clarity or just needing to really work on healing your heart chakra. We're having to again and again and again. You might be really feeling this connection in your heart chakra, whether feeling really, really good and bliss and union or separation pains and heart chakra wounds in the separation. You're never going to get rid of this person or off their mind. It's something that you learn in the connection though, because it's the energy connection of it too. And in separation, I always say it doesn't get better. It brings up a lot for both as well too. It's very, very painful. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were the one. This could be love at first sight. It was very, very fast. The universe brought you together and it's like the bing bang. I'm like, oh, there you are. And it's just like energetically as well too. You probably saw your whole future on some level or you know how you fit nicely together. And it's the energy feeling of it. A lot of people can't describe it because your twin flame probably is not your usual type or they might look different or they might have cultural differences or you know they might have age gap or whatever it is it's how it feels when you're with this person on a spiritual level it's about the spiritual connection as well too so this is the one and you knew it on some level but what happens is our ego and the fear comes up and it creates a lot of we we'll call it dissonance right dissonance and even distance between this because sometimes we can't always comprehend what's happening in our ego is our biggest block as well too. Um, when we're feeling upset, fear, anger, this comes from the ego. You know, the heart is where we experience the love. 
Have faith in the universe that this is bigger than both of us at the moment. Trust in the divine plane of your life and the timing of your life as well too. The timing might have been off. This is bigger than both of you. You might have other lessons in the way, karmic challenges, things that you need to learn from this connection. It could have things went off within it too. This is bigger than both of you as well too. It's, it's just so spiritual. Believe in miracles. Things can shift any time. This is like pray for your counterpart, pray for your connection, pray for miracles as well too with this because both are, as I said, suffering in different ways through this connection. Um, runner can try to shut this off, but oftentimes the emotions are very intense for them too or their own fears have got to them as well too in a different kind of way as well too. Can trigger a lot of, we'll say, anxiety and things like that. You need to heal and open your heart chakra for this connection. Time to really heal yourself and to work on your heart. This is like a huge connection, a huge um, message too coming through about this connection to really open your heart, work on your heart chakra and to go deeper within your healing. You're not quite there yet, <laughs> like, right? Time to really work on your healing and work on your heart chakra specifically is coming up right now big time as well too. Okay, so we have... Calling in your twin flame, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you to bring you together. Focus on sending positive energy about this connection. Put it out there. Manifest this person. Stay positive about it. Pray for them as well, too, because oftentimes in these spaces, especially in separation, coming into union, you're having to go through a lot of layers of self, clearing beliefs, blocks, doubts. Express yourself. Does this person know how you feel about yourself? They may or they may not as well too. Important they do. Time to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Really follow your guidance. This is going to be not about your twin flame. It's going to be about yourself and what to be healing and working on with yourself as well too. I know in the spaces of separation, oftentimes they come up because there's like a lot coming up for each twin flame as well too to work on. And when you're in separation, look at it like you're having to do individual hardcore, your own work as well too. And your twin flame might be distracting you. So you're being guided to really work on the steps that you're being guided to take. To work on your healing and to work with your spirit team specifically. Whether you're needing to heal this situation or yourself in some type of way. This is a very passionate connection. This brings you a lot of joy. This really opens up your heart with this person as well too. I love it because it's the angelic card as well too. And you can think of your twin flame as angelic too on those higher frequencies and the lower showing you 3D templates and distortions that come from your family. Childhood wounding that you need to heal that get in the way of how you're seeing the connection or how things are playing out or triggering each other in a negative way. In the higher, very 5D, angelic, spiritual connection. This is paying attention to your third eye right now. You're going to be shown visions, dreams, insights, guidance, angel numbers, signs, synchronicities, and things letting you know that you're on the right path. Pay attention and connect with your third eye right now. It's going to give you a lot of, we'll say, things like that. This is the surrender and dark night of the soul. You might have tried everything for this connection. This is how it usually goes out. And it could have been the other person on the other end that was, you know, sometimes they leave, they abandon you, they reject you um, to go into the separations, right? They want space, they want their freedom is big time, right? You might have an avoidant that cycles through certain cycles with you too, where they push, you're doing good with them, they go hot, cold, they push you away, they want their freedom, and then they miss you and try to come back with these cycles as well too. And this can trigger a lot, especially if you have the other end of that puzzle piece, which is anxious attachment, and you want, you just want closeness in a normal relationship. Or if you're secure and you're used to soul, more soulmate connections, right? And you're just used to like, you know, it goes real easy kind of connection. So this is like surrender to the process. You're going through, it's purging a lot. It's bringing up a lot of heavy emotions. Um, we can call that, right? Dark night of the soul or let's say spiritual things that we need to realize as well too. It's kind of bringing these things to the surface. It could be bringing heavy energies up that you need to deal with. You might be feeling heavy energies from your person or vice versa. You might feel very heavy about what's happened or you, know, you might feel upset. You might feel all kind of waves of emotion as well too. I am enough, let go of expectations. And this is maybe not feeling good enough. I say that this can happen too with 
things that played out in the connection and this is at the core both in their own way don't feel good enough or have wounds around love that they already came into the matrix with and things like that these could be past life wounds childhood wounds past relationship wounds as well too at the core you share a lot of the same wounds working on your confidence practice self-love take care of your inner child right now take care of yourself self-care energy healing meditation learning right learning about all this stuff paying attention to your downloads right really take care of yourself at the heart of inner child work is your heart chakra. All right, we have the magician in reverse. This is manipulation, missing opportunities, untrustworthiness, lacking mental clarity, lack of spiritual connection. This is like magician in reverse. I always think of magician as your masculine too. <laughs> okay, this is things that might have happened. It could have been you trying to manipulate love or the situation or the other person was as well too with your feelings, things that played out. And this is kind of like, you're supposed to be manifesting, but something has gone off. It's backwards, like especially in separation. We'll look at separation as the polar opposite to union. Something has gone off, especially in separation. We have the nine of wands, which is again, your masculine coming through. If you think they're doing amazing out of this situation, they're not. They're feeling drained from fighting. Wounded warrior, they have too many walls up in fight or flight mode, being strong, the battle's almost over. And I realize that. And that's what avoidance is. It's just too much defense mechanisms and walls, right? It's just putting more and more barriers and walls up, acting like they don't notice and things like that. So this is like representing your masculine. They're in fight or flight mode still. And we talked about runner being flight. And this is just their body. It gets too intense, overwhelming. You might not understand this. They don't understand this. It just puts you guys in these states of separation. And it's when the energy gets too overwhelming. Now, what is happening is you guys have downloaded a lot. Like usually before the separation, you were hanging out a lot and you've been exchanging energy. And this is always unconsciously just happening, right? Past what we can perceive with our mind. And you've been exchanging a lot of energy and they've got a lot of downloads. And what happens when there's the separation is the runner has to go integrate all of that. And it's like you've downloaded a lot of programs and files and things like that. And they need to go integrate these upgrades that are happening. So when you hang out, there's a lot of upgrades that come to you. And in the space of separation, you're needing to integrate all of this one-on-one -on -one as well too, especially the runner and things like that. Okay, so we have the five of cups in reverse. And I always think of this almost like the hermit, but this is moving on from the past, healing, forgiving the past, letting go of grief and sadness, acceptance, releasing baggage. Those with anxious attachments have a lot more fear of loss. Oftentimes this could be from losing someone close to you, actual death, like depends on your trauma, right? And this is why sometimes it hits you guys differently and this is the divine feminine is going through a grief. And I say separation is the same as death. And it's death of both selves. It's death of the connection. And you might be feeling that. You might be grieving this connection, especially if you think you won't come together with this person or that it really is done in some type of level. So it might be kicking up an inner sadness, grief, and a lot of emotions too. This is letting go of the baggage of the past and realizing these are old emotions. And it could be around loss of other ways, whether it was old breakups, losing someone close to you or a loved one and things like that. It can kick up a lot of that. So Divine Feminine is processing a lot. And I always know that because your twin flame, things happen with your twin flame. It kicks up so many old memories. And this is why it's important. And each separation will be different. And you'll know what you're healing by what comes up. And so I've had like one separation where certain things came up and now, you know, a different one where different things are coming up. And so pay attention to the past memories that are dislodging because these are energies coming up from your system that your twin flame has kicked up unaware, unconsciously. And these memories are going to help to pinpoint exactly what is being brought up and dislodged. So if you're like thinking about a past trauma or a past breakup or other things, right, or old connection or whatever it is, it, this is the areas that are going that you're going into for the healing as well too and this is why energy work is so important because we kick this stuff up and if we just let it sit in our system or our energy system it blocks us up we're needing to do the energy healing to really really target heal and release these things so make sure you guys are doing extra healing work especially if you're going through stuff okay so we have eight of pentacles and i swear i've got the same card yesterday it's like being lazy 
dead end job, not focusing hard enough and letting opportunities pass you by. You might not be living life from whatever you're going through divine feminine. You might be going through the motions, going to work, right? Like, like, but, but something is weighing heavily on you with this. You might not have your full energy or you might have too much of your focus on this situation. And this I know all about because it's like this situation might be in the background for you and you're kind of doing your life and other things and you're on a different timeline. And it's always there in the background. You're always thinking of this person. People won't get it. They won't understand. But the connection remains. And so you might be having a hard time because... It's almost like past life bleed through, but this is different. This is like twin flame bleed through where it's always there in the background and you're trying to do other stuff, right? You got to live life. You're supposed to put it out of mind, but it's there. And, you know, it's, it's a very, very intense feelings of whatever is there, whether the joy of the connection in union or you're in a separation and you're really feeling it, right? And, uh, you know, it's just all of it. It's always there. I want to say hanging in the background, right? You're being guided to release attachments to it. So I'm realizing a lot about other connections and how we attach. And most twin flames are supposed to break and heal these attachments and come back together healthy without the same energetic, not toxic connections that we have in the 3D. And this is what makes it a different kind of connection too. All right, we're going to do a reading for the Divine Masculine specifically to see what is going on for the Masculine Collective. Divine Feminine, take this as direct messages from your masculine. You are my best friend and I cherish our friendship above all else. And this is a lot of twin flames that I see are like, you could just hang out. It's not about the 3D of it. It's like you guys, the reason why twin flames are meant to remain is because you guys actually have a lot in common. So if you look back at your past relationships, a lot of them didn't work out because you wouldn't even be friends with that person. I always said that's something I knew about one of my connections. I was like, oh my God, after a minute, I wouldn't even want to hang out with this person. So twin flame is someone where you have the same spiritual interest. You could talk about anything. You could just hang out and talk about life, the world. You're going to fit that feel that you fit like best friends as well too. So you know, in union, you're really feeling that, wow, this person's like my best friend. I, they're the only one I have to talk to because they're the only one going through this experience. They're the only one who knows how I'm truly, what I'm truly feeling or what I'm going through on a spiritual and a soul level because they're going through this experience too. And in separation, you're going to feel that even more strongly. Like you lost your best friend on top of it and you have no one to talk to. <laughs> like you can kind of talk to people, but they don't get it like your twin flame. So masculine is feeling that despite whether you're in separation or union. Our beliefs are just too different. I couldn't reconcile yours to mine. And this is the difference of the masculine and feminine polarity. It's very difficult to bring into balance with twin flames, especially as you guys have a lot of baggage. Twin flames come into very hard childhood and family situations. You guys picked up a lot of karma. You guys are like warriors, you know, doing ascension, old souls, You've taken on a lot and at that point to balance it when all this stuff comes up at once and all the unhealed stuff and the suitcase is open and the baggage, sometimes it gets too much. I see you in the face of strangers. You're always with me. This could be them in separation trying to move on, but they think of you all of the time and maybe they're needing to put it out of mind and they're <clears throat> seeing people that remind you of them. They might, you know, hear someone laugh and they miss your laugh. They see someone with the same color hair and they're like, oh, my flame. They're seeing little reminders and signs. They're connecting with your higher self and they are missing you if in separation. My spirit was always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? And this is masculine wondering if you love them. They might feel deeply flawed or have issues of their own or have issues accepting this love that it's so intense but you know I'll just say that the separation wouldn't happen if they weren't afraid because they were so in love with you so there was a point where you both were very in love if in separation you're still in love but in a different way and it's just ego and fear has gotten in the way on some type of level too so they're wondering if you love them or if you're thinking about them and that's a yes for sure I always look for you at airports as if we'll be in the same place in the world. And this could indicate physical distance too. And it just kind of depends. I've seen runner um, 
of the stories because I work with so many twin flames that just bolted across America far away <laughs> where you look right and are very far apart went from living together to far apart or some of you guys were in different countries cities you know and travel to see each other so distance this is distance as well too and so there is a physical distance not for everyone but for many twin flames some of you guys are in different cities or four hours apart or in different countries or spaces of the planet as well too making it more difficult i wish i could go back and start over they have a nostalgia about things and wishing things had been differently they wish they could have done things differently or you know whatever our souls speak the same language that only you and I get. And that's because there's such a strong soul frequencies and soul resonance. And I realize this too from the patterns. When you begin to put together the synchronicities between you and your twin flame, they're very much past life patterns and inner child patterns and things like that. You're going to notice a familiarity as well too. And this is an attempt for your soul to come together with this person to heal certain things or to get certain lessons as well too. But you get each other on a deep level maybe you get each other even more than you guys get yourselves at a certain point or can see each other clearly and this can go for the positive and the negative because you saw only positive when you meet this person but oftentimes you see the negative of what your twin flame especially is struggling with or needing to work on and maybe you've already mastered those areas and things like that so you definitely see this person clearly you speak the same soul language you need to heal how you're seeing things. A shift in perspective is needed. Needing to shift your perspective as well too. This is why you, we kind of get wrapped up in our 3D tunnel vision and needing to get rid of the negative thoughts, beliefs, ego blocks that are blocking how you're seeing this connection in its highest light. And this is masculine to feminine, thinking that the feminine hasn't been seeing them or things clearly. Our story is not even close to being finished. And this is with true twin flames. You you will come together and love each other again in this lifetime until you get it right. And it could take a long time. It depends on the universe or in the next lifetime you will. And this is why it's very important that when you come together, if you were in a separation that you've learned about what has put you in the separation and integrated those lessons so it doesn't happen again. And this is why healing is needed as well too. Love yourself first. Your self-love makes you more romantically attractive. And we have the masculine is very charismatic or charming or <laughs> we'll say sexy, right? And, and um, you know, and you know that too, as well too. So you have this way about you, but you're needing to put less focus on others right now and to focus that love on yourself too. All right, heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You're being guided to open up your heart and to share your feelings at some point and this could be you have a hard time expressing your needs or feelings or clarity or problems being vulnerable so we have a lot of it depends on how you were brought up but if you were brought up in a toxic childhood home you may have not you may have been taught that you weren't supposed to show your emotions so as an adult you probably have a hard time showing them or being vulnerable or opening up and showing those sides to yourself to others getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens this is about integrating all of it now we do have this this situation involves marriage it does involve union with this person and this is probably something you both want underneath it all too so we do have this positive union card too all right high priest work on empowering yourself and being good in your own energy too so working on your solar plexus your confidence this is the holy grail code has a lot to do with the divine feminine and um, integrating the feminine and receiving gifts from this as well too. Opening up to your feminine on some level. We have a past life healing in the Voyager's journey. This this is taking you on a journey. It could be a physical trip that we talked about if your twin flame lives somewhere else. Or it could just be a spiritual journey that is opening you up to too. This is something played out from past lifetimes to help you heal other past lifetimes. Many of your wounds you came to earth with, you came into this lifetime with. Is supposed to help you heal and while your twin flame might be triggering those wounds they're your healing partner the reason why is because you guys agreed upon this to work out these deeper issues so i found that my twin flame hurt me more than anyone had ever on planet earth right but i had a deeper love and understanding for them too past the triggers when i was triggered i didn't right i just probably felt upset but past that when you get the clarity and you go heal those wounds you start to understand that this person is the closest to you in the spiritual and that 
you know, why you may not like the narratives that are playing out. Is there something that was planned out for both of you that you're both experiencing this? Because you might easily fall into this is happening to me, but it's happening to both of you. Um, and showing you different things about yourself and what you need to work on or, you know, and things like that. And it just kind of depends. Okay, so we have change your perception and see beyond the illusion. Separateness is the illusion. You're always connected. And sometimes we go into the separations to feel that and to realize the connection. And, you know, I think it's to realize the importance of the connection too or to sort out your feelings about this person or to be sure about the connection as well too. We have two of swords in reverse. This is your divine feminine coming through masculine. This is delays, lies coming out, being overwhelmed, holding on to resentment, being emotionally detached, being cold or guarded. It's a sword energy. And oftentimes it is like that too. You might feel that your divine feminine has been cold or is detaching easy or you might have problems detaching. And this is where you find out you can't, right? We're trying to emotionally detach. And with all those emotions, you have to just feel them. And if you're someone who's used to detaching sometimes you deal with more depression underneath or anger or other emotions from suppressing them as well too so you might be someone trying to detach from this situation as well too or it could be a pattern with you it just kind of depends too so just feeling your emotions is coming up big time six of wands success victory winning being triumphant with something being in the spotlight fame notoriety being recognized you might have a public be in the public eye. I said that about me. It's harder, right? But this is for the masculine. You might have a job where you're in the spotlight. You're in the public eye. Maybe you're getting guided to get in that place of, you know, making videos or posts or social media, or you have some other type of important job, or you have a lot of eyes on you. And like, this is a lot of people are watching you and it doesn't have to be public, but it is. Right? A lot of people are watching your journey and your story, especially as a twin flame that you're a motivator. You're supposed to be uplifting people and usually with your twin flame, but regardless, you're meant to be doing some type of thing, uplifting people. We have the lovers in reverse and this is the opposite of union. There's something, there's something causing separation here. And this is like blaming the universe for your separation, not taking ownership of your decisions or accountability. And um, this could be unrequited love, not giving the receiving the love back as well too. And I think this is a powerful card too, because sometimes we do blame the universe for our circumstances. This is like the worst of the twin flame stuff where you're like, why am I going through this? Why did I meet this person? Why do I have to be having these lessons here on earth? Or all sorts of ways this can manifest into our thinking patterns and block up our crown chakra and our spiritual connection. You're being guided to really work on your spiritual connection and to have trust and faith in the universe, but also in your twin flame and in this union as well too, because you might be causing separation by not looking at, we'll say your side of things. Two of pentacles, we had this yesterday, and this is trying to juggle life's ups and downs and money, but it's also the highs and the lows of the twin flame journey where one minute you're in union and bliss and the next you're in the worst pain ever and you're in separation and it brings so many highs and lows. And, you know, and a lot of times people want to say this is a karmic connection, but we all know karmic connections don't go like that. See, soulmate connections last a really long time. They're comfy. Karmics come right and give you your karma and they go. This is something different. There's a lot of highs and lows, but they're triggering the old karmic templates and experiences for you to deal with. So it can bring a lot of, and we're talking about your emotions and moods. One minute you're on cloud nine, we call that love bubble, right? And then the next you're falling from heaven and you feel like you've lost your spiritual connection and you've, you know, kicked out of paradise, as we say, right? Out in the cold. And it's bringing these things and you reconnect with your twin flame and you feel, you know, with euphoria and bliss. It's the highs and the lows of it. It's the emotions. It is, you know, even in separation, you think you're done with this connection. One minute you're great and you, you got your life back. And the next you're so low and crying, missing your twin flame. And it is the highs and the lows and trying to balance those emotionally. So this is also balancing your emotions and how you've been wired up as well too the avoidant wasn't taking care of as a child they may have experienced neglect or abuse and so they've learned that their needs are not important and they've tried to suppress their emotions in a different way by switching them off the anxious attacher is the opposite as well too and it's probably the worst of it too <laughs> i say they're both bad right of needing to regulate you're oversensitive to your environment and emotions and things like that 
and you're needing to better regulate. So it's both coming down to the same core wounds of not regulating your emotions good and having to balance these ups and downs life is bringing as well too. Make sure you're really taking care of yourself and balancing your moods and emotions masculine then. All right, I'm gonna go on that note, have a beautiful day. If you need me, just go ahead and book a reading on my website too, or healings on there, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com.